Um, the first is uh, Luke Musgrave, and I'm going to look at my notepad here. And I say that because Mel Kuyper has him as number 22 on his big board. This is a guy who played two games this regular season. He played the bowl game against Florida, but he had 11 receptions this year. He had 36 career receptions prior to this year. And by the way, you know, this is coming off a major knee injury that caused him to miss, you know, three months of the season. So I, I, I think I, I'm very curious to see what a player of this caliber can bring, especially if he's on Mel Kuyper's big board at number 22. Um, he's 6'6", 250 pounds, according to, uh, to Oregon State. We'll see what he measures at the combine. But 11 catches and, and one touchdown in, call it, three games with the bowl game, very intrigued to see if this is a top 50 player, let alone top 20, 25 player. And uh, yeah, uh, Luke Musgrave, that was an interesting one too. Uh, so he's actually, so back in high school, he played for his football team, defensive end, wide receiver, and tight end. But nice. more interestingly, he played lacrosse and he did ski racing and <laughs> track, which I don't track. I assume, I don't know if he was running or if he was just launching the shot put. But I'm imagining a guy that is, I think he measured in at like six, five and a half, two fifty five. I'm imagining that guy playing lacrosse. I would be shitting my pants if I had that guy running at me with a lacrosse stick. So yeah, not a lot of uh tape necessarily for Musgrave, but I mean, that kind of size and athleticism as a as a inline uh, tight end, that would be terrifying. Yeah, we talked about Musgrave, and I it could very well end up being him, but I think as of today, it's Dalton Kincaid. Um you know, he's, he's great. You know, he played really well this season. He played well against Florida um, early on in the year, even though they lost that game. Um, And, you know, he's one of those high character, high motor type players. He reminds me some of, of some of George Kittle. Uh, You got to be careful on that comparison. Um, A lot, a lot healthier than George Kittle. Um, But I I think above and beyond it's, it's Dalton Kincaid. Um, Musgrave is right there in the mix after mayor. And, um, and then I think it drops off, but, um, again, it's, it's Don Kincaid and, um, I don't see myself making the switch, but, um, Musgrave is, uh, is, has some potential there too. Mm. Yeah. Don Kincaid, uh, what he was able to do in that offense. Uh, I, I could see it being almost like a, uh, maybe like a Zach Ertz esque in terms of, you know, he's an athletic guy. He's got great hands. Um, I'm trying to remember. That's the best I can think of right now. I mean, he's a very exciting player. Like he was exciting to watch in college. Yeah. And I know the offense very, very much went through. It was him. And I thought there was another tight end before he'd gotten injured that they were heavily, that's kind of like where the offense flowed through. But that's, you know, if it's not going to be Michael Mayer, who to, to most, if not all is, is the safe, you know, he's yeah. the more athletic Cole Komet or he's, you know, he's just, if you think of it today's tight end, who can do a bit of everything, at least at an average, if not above average level, it's Michael Mayer. Um, Dalton Kincaid, I don't think he's that, but I think at least as a receiver, he in this class is probably second to none. Um, so as, as fantasy players, then you think, all right, well, you know, tight end premium or not, would I rather pick Michael Mayer at the back end of the first early second, or could I wait a bit more And the value of getting Kincaid a bit later is going to be more fruitful for me. So I'm very curious to see how, uh, how the, how the tight end rooms and, uh, for fantasy football shake out there. (laughs) 